Right, folks. Uh, first things first, uh, I've got to do a couple of shout-outs. Uh, Sean Johnson, uh, this was for your 26th birthday, but um, I'm, a, I'm 50. I forgot. Uh, and I've also got another one, which is for Daily Mimi Reviews. Is that how you say it, Ginge? Mimi? Mimi. Huh? Mimi. It's Mimi. Daily Mimi Reviews. Is that what it is? Um, What's a Mimi? I don't know. It says Mimi. Show it. Spell it. M-E-M-E. -E. That's... Meme. Meme. Oh, meme. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Are you joking? Are you actually joking? No. I'm being serious. Uh, can I just say thanks for the followers? Oh. We've got Ginge now. I've got coattails. She's clinging on like that. You just told me to. Yeah. Well, you don't normally do what I tell you to do. But yeah. asked you to, told you to wash up while me and your mother are out. And have. But you didn't. Yeah. Anyway, this is a serious review. Sorry. That's all right. But uh, Ginge thanks you for all the people following her on Instagram. Imogen.2744. She will be planning on doing things of um, interest. To me. Uh, to her and hopefully to you. So she'll be, I don't know, she'll be taking pictures of squirrels and no and butterflies i'll and do i'll do blue van man behind the scenes I'll blue van man behind, behind the scenes <laughs> she'll uh i don't know what she's doing she's i'm just glad she's doing something she's been on holiday god knows how many weeks and she's just finally come out of a bedroom you know that clock you get with the old man and the woman and when it's fine the the woman comes out and when it's why would the man go out while it's raining? What sense is there in that? Anyway, my grandma and granddad had one. I could never work it out why a man would want to go out in the bloody rain. But that's her. Uh, anyway, um, so this is from Lewis Shepherd in Cambridge. I am doing another PO box opening. I've already opened this one, but I'm going to go through the what he sent me. Um, I am gradually working my way through the PO boxes. Um, I've just been to the post office in Loughborough. And I've had about another 12 or 15 parcels I've got to go through. Plus the ones I've still got in the garage to do. Um, so, but I am getting there, right, folks? It's <sighs> The P.O. Box was a bloody good idea. But the amount I'm getting is uh, unbelievable. So thank you and I do appreciate it. Anyway, this is from Lewis Shepherd in Cambridge. Um, I don't know if he is a shepherd or not. Uh, but he is in Cambridge. And... Uh, is there a big school in Cambridge? Are you joking again? Is this a joke? It ain't a school, is it? It's a university. Isn't it? Is that the one where Morse went? No. Uh -huh. Is it a university? I would like to start by thanking you for providing us with such brilliant content on a regular basis. This is Lewis, not me saying this. <laughs> um, these videos with Hunky Unky Steve and Sue really make me chuckle and smile from ear to ear. Uh, I do apologise, this has taken a while to get to you, Lewis, but it's just what I say, working with Thorin. I have recently come back from a few days in Amsterdam, Netherlands. That's Holland to you. Is it? Imogen dot... 27, uh, 2477. No. Uh, 20 what? 2744. 2744. And um, purchase some Dutch snacks for you. There is also a flag enclosed as I visit the Cruff Ajax Stadium. Uh, Cruff, uh, Cruff, open brackets, Ajax, oh close bracket God. stadium. Uh, I'm a lifelong Ipswich fan, uh, Ipswich Town fan. We are now in League One. So uh, times are hard. Mate. Leicester went down there, won that, won the championship, nearly got relegated. Next thing you know, Premier League champions. So don't give up hope, mate. Just don't give up hope. Oh, when we went on holiday, we chatted to some bloke on the beach, didn't we? We were an Ipswich fan, June. We did, yeah. Yeah, it was quite, we spent about 20 minutes talking to him, didn't we? We did. It was quite good. It was entertaining. He was there when Ipswich were good and... It was saying how bad it is now down there, but uh, all right. So now there is an assortment of snacks, including chocolate and licorice. There is one bag of sweet uh, licorice and one bag of salted licorice. Ooh. Ooh! I also bought some Stroop waffles, but I ate them on the plane because I'm a chubby bastard. No wrong with being a chubby bastard, mate. 
Nothing wrong at all with that, because I am one too. So I have replaced them with screw waffles from Sainsbury's, but they taste exactly the same as the Dutch ones. Keep doing what you're doing, sending positive vibes to you, June, Ginge, Sue and Steve. All the best, Lewis Shepherd in Cambridge. Thank you very much for that. Spot on, the flag. I like the flags. I did the American one, and um, I just thought it was quite nice to have a bit of something there. Is that a person? I can't even tell. It's a, that's his hat, his helmet. There's his eyes and his nose and, and his chin. There's on his head. Yeah, I don't know what it uh, is, but there you go. Uh, if there's any Dutch fans in, well, there will be Dutch fans, uh, who watch me, who are not Ajax fans, please don't take offence. I'm not here to upset and cause wars or anything like that. It's, it's, you know, if somebody from Holland wants to send me another flag, I'll quite happily put it up and review clogs and tulips and stuff, right? And you and all that. Not stereotyping, but there you go. Right, let's have a look what we've got. Oh, June. June. June! June! What do you mean watching YouTube? Come on, then, what? Right, we've got some chocolate, June. Oh, goodness gracious. God, look at the size of these. These are like breeze blocks. You know the blues that you put round your conservatory mm. to stop the damp? They're not like that, Lord. Look at the size. They're not breeze blocks, are they? No, they're not breeze blocks. Right, what am I going for, June? I don't know. You've got some inflation. Right, at the moment we've got uh, licorice. Um, I'll try a bit of licorice, sir. I think that's a salted one because it's got a salt. Salted. salted it's got salt pot that somebody's knocked over. So when you've knocked it over, you have to pick it up with your left hand and throw it over your right. That's no, your right hand. You do some of that, you end up doing some kind of fortune dance. <laughs> Cut the lid. Well, I like that. I need a drink. I don't know, I'll get you a drink, don't I? Oh, well, I've got some water in there, haven't I? I'll drink that. We've got some gin in there and all, isn't it? That thingy gin. Ooh, it's a lighthouse. Ain't they got a family? Ooh, what? Oh, God. Oh, look, it's a book. Do you know what? Do you know that what? It's really nice liquid, so I was expecting it to be the really soft liquid. Right, what have we got here then? That's, uh, that's nice. I need a book, that's a, that's a wedge. No, they're all different. It's like wine gums. Mm. What are you going to read about? I didn't like it. Oh God, that is soft, yeah. Mmm. Mmm, I like that. It's called clean. That? Zizz out. That is like the licorice you get in your sherbet fountains. Isn't it? Yeah, if anybody can read that, this is not for the visually impaired, so don't even try. Steve, Steve again, drop, they read Mitch E Z out. If it's chewy, eh? it's salty though, isn't it? Yeah, I like that. It is though, don't you think that's like very much like the licorice in the sherbet fountains? Yeah, it is. Bet the other one would be like more like that. Right. What's that one? God, it is salt. I don't know, Jude. Open that, Jude. That's just normal, isn't it? Um. Uh, sweet, there's one bag of sweet licorice and the other one is salted licorice. 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 <laughs> yes, I know I'm swigging out the bottle, folks. It's sort of an hygienic book. There you go. Uh, I drink litres of this stuff. Spring natural mineral water, sparkling. For the visually impaired, I'm working it round my gums. That's a nice licorice as well. Mm. Good. Mm. Good proper solid licorice. Yeah, I think it was good. I've got to say, I'm not a massive fan of licorice, but that is quite nice. It is just licorice, isn't it? They've not fannied around with it. Mm. It's just licorice. I thought the licorice my grandma used to have. Mm. Did you know me, grandma? No. It sounded like you did. 
Well, I didn't know one of you. I did know one of you, Grandma. Oh, yeah, you did, but I met the other Grandma. I oh, know you did. Dora. Mm. That's nice, isn't it? Mm. That is nice. That is very good. Shall we do the uh, struple waffles now? Caramel flavoured. Oh, I bet they like them. What? They're just caramel flavoured. Doodles down here, he wants one. You can't have one. Can't you have one? Get off, you can't have one of these. There's two there. Right, so basically it's waffle. It's um, not as much waffle as I've got, but it is a waffle. Um, it's around, it's a bit bigger than digestive for the visually impaired. Uh, it's about the size of a tea mug. What? And um, it, it's just like, you know the ice cream um, when you get a wafer, no, wait, is it a wafer? And you get the ice cream and you cut the, the thing and then you put it between two biscuits. It's like that. It's got that texture, that feeling. Um, it's like the waffle cones. Is that what you're trying to say? It is like a waffle cone. Uh, but around the edge, you can actually see the caramel that has been squozen out. Mm. Oh, Squozen a word. Do you mean squeezed? I don't squoze. know. It's squozed. It's my bloody channel. I'll say what I bloody are. Like. It's squozen. Squozen. <laughs> it's like disorganised and unorganised. Tastes oh, like yeah. unorganised is not a word. Yeah, unorganised is not a word. No, it tastes like gingerbread to me. Mmm, you're right, it does a little bit ginger. That's what I am. Same. Isn't it? Mm -hmm. They're nice. You're right, Lewis Shepherd. Well, I'll caramel in. Yeah. Hit for us, isn't yeah. It? I can um, understand why you uh, ate them back on the plane, my old lad. Perhaps he was peckish. Perhaps he was peckish. <laughs> but that, they're nice and all. They're good. We'll get some of that. Ice cream, bit of something else on it. Mm -hmm. Right, we've got. Four massive bars of chocolate. Um, they are huge. Pick a card. Any card, pick a card. Red. No, purple. June's gone for the red. We're going to try them all, so it don't really matter, girls. It feels a bit like Willy Wonka. Uh, Wonka. What? That's Willy Wonka. Willy Wonka. Willy it's... Wonka was a real. Weren't they? There was a figment of Roald Dahl's imagination. What happened to him who did the forward roll then when he came out of the factory with his limpy leg? It, it's basically... Gene Wilder. Gene Wilder. Weren't he real? He was real, but it wasn't... Well, what about the elevator when they went to the top and they went through it? The roof? <laughs> that wasn't real. Well, what about Violet Boat? She's dead. Is she? She's Violet dead. Beauregard. Yeah, she's dead. Mm -hmm. And, right... In the next one, with um, Johnny Depp, how come Grandad, in Robin's Nest, he only had one arm, then when he was back in bed, in the chocolate thing, he got two arms. Oh, he didn't do that, was he some kind Albert. of... His name was Albert, wasn't it? In Robin's no, Nest. that was Only Fools and Horses, yeah, wasn't it? Albert. I think his name was Albert. So there you go, folks. I just don't understand these things. They just make them up as they go along. It's, it's just not on. The bloody wrestling's more real, and that's shit at the moment and all. Goldberg, what's he come back for? Bloody Goldberg. He nearly killed himself in Saudi Arabia. Right, what have we done here? What have we got? Look at the size of that. Orange, I think. Well, that's a no. massive... Look at, the, look at the decoration in that. That has got better tread than my transit van. Mm. Isn't it? You don't get that kind of tread on a bloody trainer. Shut up and try the chocolate. <sighs> right. Well, that's not. Yeah. Oh, God, why are you so... Now, the thing is here, people are going to say, Oh, you like it, you like it. Yeah, I do like it. It's yeah. bloody nice. Oh, God. Good flavour, aren't they? 
tastes like salt. I think it's just. What's it say? Chocolate happiness. Yeah, what? I think that's just dark chocolate. No, but it's got salt in it. I'm bit into some salt. You sure? Yeah. Right, wrap that one back up. That is good. Right. We've got. Oh, no, it tastes. You know when we did that bacon chocolate? Oh, that's yeah. That's what it tastes like. Yeah. Me and Ginge did some bacon chocolate, and that's what it does now, Ginge. You're dead right. Uh, we've got popcorn, we've got um, Stroop, Stroop waffle, and cheesecake. Popcorn. Cheesecake? Popcorn. Popcorn. Popcorn it is. Um, I can't read this, it's all in bloody Dutch. I'm tasting it all Dutch. Right. These are bloody brilliant chocolate bars. How much were these, Lewis? This is this looks a bit of a milkier, milkier kind of chocolate. Folks, um, I sent a food package to a, a guy called Dutch Creek Cabin. His name's Drew. Um, Oh, it's got nuts in it. Popcorn. Oh, popcorn. That's popcorn, is it? Well, he gave it away, didn't it, in the title. And he kept shouting, popcorn, popcorn. My horse for chocolate popcorn. Mm, you can really taste got... the popcorn. That tastes a bit like that. What's that popcorn that I have from the co-op? The speciality one that's got the chocolate on and everything? Oh, yeah. Pepe's. Is it Pepe or Pippi or Poo Poo or whatever? <laughs> um... Is some popcorn in Tesco, uh, Corey, it, oh, Corey, <laughs> in the co-op that's just like that, it's a real, it's um, it's got Belgian chocolate on it, yeah, it? and it's really good, um, oh no, is it that one, oh, Tesco do it, they all, oh, they all do a version of it, yeah, they do, it's lovely, uh, what are on about then, Drew, yeah, uh, go and have a look at him on Dutch Creek Cabin, uh, and also Bobble, Bobble ahead. Oh, no, I'll tell you what, I've got something wrong with me. I can't remember names and stuff and what time it is today. Um, yeah, uh, Bobble Head Homestead. The Marmite was not a hit. Yeah, I sent them a food package from uh, with British Food and um, they reviewed it last night. <laughs> and uh, I don't think they like Marmite. Yeah, they like Twiglets. Work that out. Um, but they did eat it straight from the gym. Yeah, but then he did end up dipping bloody Twiglets in the Marmite and. <laughs> Drew, that is not what you do, mate. That is not what you do. Uh, right, we're going on for the uh, Stroop waffle now. Uh, it's Belgian chocolate. These are brilliant chocolate bars. Mind you, they do and Is it Belgium that does the chocolate? Or is it just Poirot detectives? Bel you get Belgian chocolate, but this is Dutch. Oh yeah, it's this Dutch, is isn't it? So what is they doing here? Mind you, they do that um, Flemish, you know? Well, most chocolate from other countries is nicer than ours. Ooh. Just, just a little bit. Thanks. Oh. That's rich, creamy, smooth, melts in the mouth. What flavour is that? Um. Oh, it's true. These are nice. God, I must be building up my calorie rate today, my uh, my love. I'll be as fat as Jamie Oliver. Um, this one's Stroop Waffle, so I bet there's a bit of that biscuity waffle thing in there. Tastes yeah. Like right, we're going for the last one, folks, uh, of this wonderful, wonderful Dutch um, food review sent to me by Lewis Shepherd in Cambridge. Uh, this is the cheesecake. Raspberry cheesecake. How do you know raspberry cheese? That's what it looks like in French, I think. Or is it strawberry? Some oh, strawberry in it. Yeah. Is that strawberry or raspberry? I'll let you. Um... I think it's strawberry. Some berry. Oh wow! Looks like blackberry. Ooh. There we go. White chocolate. White chocolate. Oh, what are they doing? Oh, that bloody dog. I'll tell you what, that dog. Oh, God, that, that's my best one. Oh, 
Oh, that's the best one. Mm. They're all very nice. That is the best one. Oh, it's true. So. It's like chocolate covered strawberries. No. In oh, Holland, covered. they have very nice liquids, very nice strawberries, and very nice chocolate. Mmm. That was absolutely stunning. And that dog's been upstairs again, and I bet he's at one of my socks. You mean? Unbelievable. Right, so thank you very much for that, Lewis Shepherd. That was absolutely outstanding, mate. We have thoroughly enjoyed that. Uh, anybody else who wants to sell, send me something, look at my P.O. Box. Uh, it's Blue Van Man, P.O. Box 10747, Loughborough, L-E-9. L-D something. L-E-11-9-L-D. Uh, thank you. What's he had? I don't know. I will ask you in a moment. <sighs> I want to kill that dog. Right, thank you very much for that. I've got to go because the dog's been upstairs. Uh, Laders.